what's going on y'all back with another video and today we're in the garage so as you can see we got both cars in here we're actually gonna be working on this one right here so let's go ahead and walk over there real quick give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what I'm gonna be getting into with this car so as you already know we have the new spark plugs right here and I have not put them in yet that last clip I was actually just an old clip I was just driving home and I still had the old spark plugs in, so the car was still breaking up. That's why I wasn't really rolling into throttle that hard. I want to go ahead and fix this car, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the spark plugs on this car and see if that fixes the uh, breakup issue as far as like us getting in a boost. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and dive right in. So there's one thing that kind of sucks about all this, all this hard work that we put in. We got to kind of tear it apart. Luckily, we don't have to like take everything off, but obviously to get to the uh, coil packs, I need to go ahead and take off the throttle bodies right here. So basically just like unbolt them from both sides, pull them away. And yeah, then I'll be able to kind of get to that last coil pack that's back there. So kind of sucks. So let's go ahead and uh, get all my tools out. Let's see what I need. I know I need like some Allen keys for the throttle bodies, a couple like sockets just for the uh, coil packs that are like being held down. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this. I want to go ahead and get this finished and uh, get this car on the road. So now that we got the throttle bodies disconnected, let me go ahead and show you guys. So as you can see, throttle body is off on that side. And same thing over here, it's just kind of tight just because I still have the intercooler piping on. I think this side I have enough room to like push the intercooler piping out of the way, but um, this side it looks pretty tight. I don't really have a lot of room. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the intercooler piping right at the bottom here and just like pop that off so I can just pull it down a little bit. Uh, just so I have a, enough room to go ahead and push the throttle body out of the way so I can get to that last coil pack. But um, yeah, once I go ahead and do that, I should be able to go ahead and get all of the spark plugs out of the spark plug holes. And then, yeah, we can kind of compare, see what they look like, all that stuff. And then we'll, we do need to regap the new plugs before I throw those in. So let me go ahead and do that right now and I'll catch up with you guys in a few. So this is the first spark plug I pulled out. Um, you can kind of see like how foul that one is on the left. And then, you know, obviously a brand new one. So actually funny story about the spark plugs. When I was, you know, boosting the car, I actually remember now that I didn't change out these spark plugs. I did take out the spark plugs that were in there that I was running when I was in a to, you know, gap them down to the like correct gapping so that I can go into boost fine, but I actually didn't even replace these. So that's my fault. I know I'm probably gonna sound like an idiot for that, but I mean, it is what it is. So it's a good thing I am changing out these spark plugs now. now let's go ahead and throw the rest of them in. I'm not gonna bore you guys with like the whole time lapse and everything. I'm gonna just go ahead and finish the everything, finish everything up, and then I'll show you guys once it's done. It won't look obviously too much different. It'll just be put together. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when I'm finished. And just like that, we're finished. So it honestly wasn't too bad. Yeah, just take the uh, both the throttle bodies off and um, intercooler piping off, pull the throttle bodies to the side, but do not unplug them because if you unplug them, then you'll have to do a throttle relearn and it's just, just a process you don't, you're not necessarily have to do if you don't unplug them. So yeah, just don't unplug them, but uh, put them off to the side real quick, get to all the core packs, change them out. And um, yeah, everything went back in pretty smoothly. Everything's hooked up, intercooler piping is hooked up. So, and then I have the old spark plugs right here. Um, they're not labeled or anything, but they're in the order that I took them out. So like the first cylinder closest to the car on this side, and then uh, second, third, first, second, third. So yeah, just, just in case I ever had to like come back to them or something like that, I think I probably will label them. But uh, right now I'm actually gonna do an oil change on the car because I've been putting this off for a while just because I've been sorting so many different issues and things out. But now that the car is pretty much sound, uh, new spark plugs in, everything's gapped to the right gapping. I'm going to go ahead and tackle the oil change. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, especially while I have the car in the air, if you guys didn't know or see already. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that, take the car for a test drive, and then we should be good to go. All right, we just finished up everything. Oil change is done. Spark plugs are done. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take the car out tonight. Uh, just take it for a quick test drive, see how the uh, spark plugs are going to be holding up. And yeah, I will keep you guys tuned. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, let's go ahead and take the car out for a quick drive and uh, let's see how it does, bro. Fingers crossed that everything is fixed. I have a good feeling about this. The car seems to be like idling a bit smoother. So um, I really think the issues are fixed, but you know, we won't know until we go on that first drive. So stay tuned, bro. It's gonna be a sick one, man. Y'all pray for me. Test it. did upload a new tune and it wasn't doing that before it's like it's like hitting limiter or something like that but uh obviously it's clearly not so i definitely need to go back home and adjust something actually i have my laptop here with me so i might adjust it on the fly but uh yeah that's super weird bro it's like cutting out or something i'm not sure so i think i'm gonna load the old tune back on it and then see how it runs then funny story so you can already see what i'm doing but when I did a couple pulls in the car off camera, the car actually started to like overheat, which was super weird. I've never had that issue before. I don't know if it's because like the car was backfiring so much, it maybe like blew something out or something like that. Cause the car has really never done that. Like I've, I've hit rev limiter in this car a ton of times when it's been boosted and like it's never really done that. So I don't know if like something shocked it or something. So I'm here to try to flash the car. Uh, cause this will actually tell me if my radiator fans are actually working cause when you flash it, it kicks on. So let me try to do this real quick and then, uh, yeah, this will be really the, the true test at least if that's working. Cause if that's not working, then maybe it's like thermostat or something like that, which I don't really want to do, but we'll see. It's pretty unfortunate, but yeah, I'll throw a little clip right here that the car was overheating. Yeah, man, it's just one thing after another, man, with cars. But uh, we're going to keep our head up, bro. We're going to keep trying different stuff because that's what it's all about. And, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what I find out. So I went ahead and flashed the ECU. It looks like the fans are working. Yeah, fans are working. So that only leaves me to think that either, A, they're not turning on or something or B unfortunately it's going to be like the thermostat or something along that line it's maybe water pump or something like that but uh I don't know bro that's that's really weird the fans literally just clicked on all right what's going on y'all so as you can hear the car is on right now it's a brand new day um uh, yes I know I am still wearing the same hoodie I just really like this color in this hoodie the way it fits so don't say anything about that anyways I figured out why the car was overheating so the first day when I got it back up and running, I took the car to AutoZone to like pick up a few things as far as like clamps, hoses, you know, just to finish up my project, whatever. I actually took the car, I drove it there. And when I got there and I parked the car, I popped the hood to show some people like the setup because they I had met some homies there that followed me actually on, from YouTube. So shout out to you guys. Yeah, I was sh showing them the setup. And as soon as I popped the hood, I guess it tweaked the hose that didn't have a clamp on there. And it was a coolant hose. So when I did that, it popped that hose off and a bunch of coolant sprayed everywhere. So I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Here, I know it's pretty dark, but you can just see the certain spots right there that, uh, you know, just look like they've had coolant <laughs> all over it. So you can just kind of see certain areas of the car have like a lot of coolant and stuff like that. So with that being said, I lost a lot of coolant that day. And it's crazy because I did buy coolant, but I forgot to put it in. I forgot to add it in. So I've been driving the car around. I actually went to the cars with coffee, all that stuff, and just forgot to add the coolant. So now, you know, I'm driving the car at night and I did a couple pulls and it was starting to overheat. So I'm like, dang, what the heck is wrong? Like my thermostat's messed up, my water pump's messed up. When it turns out, it was just low on coolant. That's my fault. Um, it's a stupid mistake. But again, like I work on my own car. So that's why I love like figuring out these issues because I don't take my car to a shop or anything like that you know it would be nice and i'm not hating on anybody that does it at all i'm just saying like for me it really works for me that like i work on my own car and i do all of my own work so when something goes wrong i really know how to like diagnose it really well so yeah with that being said the car has been idling it's on the old tune right now i'm gonna go ahead and test it later today and just make sure that it gets in the boost fine but um as you can see the car is not overheating um we are fine 
So I did add some coolant as I mentioned and looks like we're fine. So I will take this car on a test drive in a little bit. It already has the oil change. It has the new a spark plug that are already gapped and stuff like that that I gapped and everything like that. So uh, yeah, we are good to go. So just a stupid mistake, but um, yeah, just needless to say, I figured I would just include that in the video because I know a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people would like try to not include their mistakes and like try to seem perfect. But I mean like in all reality, bro, like nobody knows everything or at least I don't so I don't mind being wrong and I don't mind publicizing I just want you guys to to know that so it was my mistake but uh yeah don't forget to add coolant in your car guys otherwise you will overheat now my next task with this car is really nothing actually I just need to do oil change <laughs> but uh I don't know it's just funny like you see the house and it's like you see the cars both in the garage both the hoods pop it's like okay what's well, broken but luckily nothing so let's keep our fingers crossed but I'm really happy to see that this car is not overheating at all. And I did talk to admin. Uh, he did email me this morning, actually, conveniently enough, and was asking me how the car was driving, how the tune is. So I told him that the tune is fine. This could be touched up in a certain areas, um, you know. So he said that we're going to go ahead and touch on that on Monday. So I will give you guys another update on then. But uh, yeah, for now, we're going to go ahead and see how the old tune is compared to the newest tune right now. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what I find. 